Welcome back, buddy. Missed you. What's up? Welcome back, homie. You're right. Be more I, excited. I'm keeping the 240. Don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I'm not trading for the, the mini truck anymore. Damn, Drew, make up your mind. I know, right? <laughs> You feel me? So I went to go print two this morning, one for each other trailer, but I kind of ran out of time, so we just made one. So let's go. Uh, oh, Tuck likes it. So you guys Taking ready? a nap on it. You ready to install it? Yeah. Let's get this money. <laughs> All right. So I think we're gonna send it in the back corner. What do you think, Chard? I think it's a great idea. Gotta get that finesse in. Now, if anyone really cares, to make it have literally no bubbles at all, you have to wet lay it and basically use like a, like a, almost like a soapy water and you put it on really wet and you squeegee out all the bubbles and you dry it off, but. Nobody got time for that. Oh, yeah. Boom, not bad. So I'm freaking out a little bit today because everything I need to get done is dependent on other people and so that means I'm kind of helpless at getting things done and I'm freaking out. So I was really hoping to get my car like halfway decent driving and loaded on the trailer by 8 o'clock tonight but it looks like it's not going to happen. Today's going to be a long day. So I just let the SR run up and I pulled the car out and I adjusted the TPS just a little bit just for the hell of it and I went to go drive it and it's perfect. It, the tune literally is perfect. I literally have chills right now. I'm like shaking. My car feels amazing. Like the tune, oh, I'm literally like, oh, I'm so overwhelmed at how great the car is running. And oh, it's, that is, my stress just went down like a whole freaking, ugh. All right, so I'm gonna go take it for a, a rip in a little bit so I can show you guys. It was kind of spur of the moment and I regret not filming, but holy crap. <laughs> Alright, well my wheels are all finished, just in perfect timing, so we're gonna head down to... Logan Steel. Hell yeah. Oh, I see him. See, that's the finish we wanted, that's beautiful. So we're gonna send it back in for a few more minutes at a higher temp because it didn't really cook that well before. But uh, we got the oven all figured out. Alright, so they wanted to throw the wheels back in for another session of heat because for some reason they couldn't get their oven hot enough so they made a few adjustments and now I think the oven's all set. So so they actually offered to drop them off for me since I have so much stuff to do today. So thank you guys once again. You guys are unreal um, hooking me up so heavy. So they'll be here in probably like an hour or so and then hopefully um, I can get the tires all mounted and balanced and we should be all set. And then uh, I can get the car loaded up. So my buddy Mike just showed up and he just got himself a, uh, a real Sylvia. So we're gonna park him right next to DJ's Sylvia that looked like basically this just a couple months ago. Dude, that's fantastic. So many Sylvias out here. Well, two real ones. Two fake ass ones. All right, so I've been running circles like crazy for the past couple hours. We're all going nuts. DJ got some double-sided tape, so he's gonna mock this wing up pretty soon. He's getting it all ready. And uh, I guess Drew might be able to drift tomorrow. Uh, I don't think we were anticipating it, but because the event uh, filled up, but a spot might have opened up, so we're kind of rushing it. Drew's car back together, even though I just took his brakes. So we're gonna take the brakes off of the white coupe and put them on here and uh, cross our fingers. All right. Whenever you lay double side tape, make sure you use like alcohol or something like that to basically get all the grease off, or else this, the tape just won't stick well. The wheels have arrived. What's up, man? What's going on? They even bubble wrapped them? Yeah. Well, they're really hot. Oh, were they? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, read, I read it when I was there. So, so I got the brakes back on Drew's car, so that is all set. Now I just gotta bleed them, but I'm gonna do that in a little bit. I gotta pull the trailer out and uh, just make go do a run through on it, make sure everything's all set and uh, then I should be able to put the tires on my rims. I just got back from Logan, which looks absolutely amazing. I still need to clear them, but we kind of didn't have enough time for that, right, Richie? I think they look pretty good. Thank you. So, you know, do that. Also need to swap the tires on the Blitz, you put my wheels on, put my kit on, and go for a real test drive, then do my alignment. Huh. 
Are we hooked up? All right, the trailer is all hooked up. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna pull it out and uh, just do a walkthrough through it because I haven't really done that yet. So, and then uh, tackle my car. The blitz in the square wheels and the tires are all brought over to Jason. He's gonna mount those and balance those. He's gonna mount and balance those for me right now. And Don has Don't reached a point this. of not giving a living crap, and he's uh, he's just gonna send it. You know we have a fender roller. I know, I know, I know, I know. Dude, it's, it's, it's a waste of time. <laughs> I did raise it. <laughs> I raised it like a pinky. All right, I had to go out and buy some new valve stems, but we're all set. Tires are getting mounted. Drew's getting his front end back on right now. <laughs> and uh, we had an issue where the headlights were actually hitting the intercooler. We didn't account for it, but luckily we had enough room in the intercooler to push it a little more closer to the radiator. We got the, we're just going to have to drill new mounting holes now, but that's easy. All right, I lost my camera and I've been going insane, but my wheels after like two hours of bullshit are finally mounted to balance. My front tires, my blitz are pretty bent, so it took forever to balance out. Two, uh, one of my new tires was bad for the rear and one of my, and two of my rims will not balance out. So hopefully that goes all right, but they do look awesome on the car. Shout out again to Logan Steele for getting these redone and delivering them today because they really, really make the car look amazing. I just gotta get that rear bumper on, but Drew, what the hell have you guys been doing? Or that, you're not true. You well, explain to me. Well, I can explain. Slick shows up. Slick proceeds to get slicked. Rips Drew's fender off and then butt slams his math into the ground. You literally slammed my math in between his cheek and the concrete. <laughs> and it so, exploded. The so, entire thing. Dylan and your boy go hammer time, pick up the sawdust of pieces that's left on the ground, duct tape it, spend 15 minutes trying to find a decent coupler Hey. Fucking go over it and then okay. we throw it back together and I'm technically drift ready. And it hits. It hits. Right now Jimmy's just warming the car up. Finally gonna take it for a ride. It's funny to see poke from my wheels again when I drive. Dude, this is the first time, like, literally driving this. Well, I drove it earlier and since the last drift event, which was like a month ago. Like, just driving real driving it feels weird, you know? Yeah. Like, driving the wall of diff is weird. Like, I'm gonna boost in a second. Alright. Alright, you ready to hear this? <laughs> is that so cold? good? <laughs> That's yeah. so sick. Oh my god. Did it break was... loose? Yeah. <laughs> That's insane. It's never happened before. That's fire. Dude, that was insane. That's awesome. Sure is fun at 22 psi, but god damn it's not safe. It's not fun when the head goes through the motor, or the head goes through the hood. Our consensus was correct. My boost controller wasn't hooked up because dumb stoop, as Dick would say. So, uh, <laughs> we're gonna, I'm just gonna skip the boost controller. I'm gonna keep it in the car just in case tomorrow I wanna mess with it. But I'm gonna be, uh, it, should, it should still send me about nine pounds bike, which is just safety right now, so. Hopefully I didn't blow my head gasket. <laughs> More of the story, it hits, but too hard. Yeah, exactly. Go a tiny, go a tiny bit that way. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so how are 
we're gonna get this out. Oh, what well, was that? Let's see how he gets out. Those are out. Yeah. Sorry, Al. Thank you. Lost that. These are so supportive. This one. The trailer is all loaded up, everything's all strapped down and we're ready to go. I'm sorry to really poorly on filming today, it was a very hectic day and I was going absolutely insane trying to get everything to work out, but tomorrow is a huge day, it's the first drift event in a month and I haven't even driven my car in a month, so hopefully we are all set. Um, really nervous, my first time towing, I hope everything's good with the trailer, and yeah, so I'm so nervous. but. I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you have a great day, but you know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content, and fingers crossed. Welcome back, buddy. Missed you. What's up? Welcome back, homie. You are right? Be more uh, excited. I'm keeping the 240. Don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I'm not trading for the, the mini truck anymore. Damn, Drew, make up your mind. I know, right? <laughs> you feel me? So I went to go print two this morning, one for each other the trailer, but I kind of ran out of time, so we just made one. So let's go. Uh, oh, Tuck likes it. So you guys Taking ready? a nap on it. You ready to install it? Yeah. Let's get this money. <laughs> All right, so I think we're going to set it and it's perfect. A little tune literally is perfect. I literally have chills right now. I'm like shaking. My car feels amazing. Like the tune. Oh, I'm literally like, oh, I'm so overwhelmed at how great the car is running. And oh, it's that is my stress just went down like a whole freaking. Ugh. All right, so I'm gonna go take it for a, a rip in a little bit so I can show you guys. It was kind of spur of the moment, and I regret not filming. But holy crap. <laughs> all right, well, my wheels are all finished, just in perfect timing, so we're gonna head down to Logan Steel. Hell yeah. Send it in the back corner. What do you think, Jard? I think it's a great idea. <laughs> she got it. Gotta get that finesse in. Now, if anyone really cares, to make it have literally no bubbles at all, you have to wet lay it. And basically use like a like a almost like a soapy water, and you put it on really wet, and you squeegee out all the bubbles, and then you dry it off. But nobody got time for that. Oh, yeah. Boom! Not bad. All right, so I'm freaking out a little bit today because everything I need to get done is dependent on other people, and so that means I'm kind of helpless at getting things done and I'm freaking out. So I was really hoping to get my car like halfway decent driving and loaded on the trailer by eight o'clock tonight, but it looks like it's not gonna happen. Today's gonna be a long day. So I just let the SR run up and I pulled the car out and I adjusted the TPS just a little bit, just for the hell of it. And I went to go drive. Oh, I see him. See, that's the finish we wanted. That's beautiful. So we're gonna send it back in for a few more minutes at a higher temp because it didn't really cook that well before. But uh, we got the oven all figured out. All right, so they wanted to throw the wheels back in for another session of heat because for some reason they couldn't get their oven hot enough. So they made a few adjustments and now I think the oven's all set. So, so they actually offered to drop them off for me since I have so much stuff to do today. So 